Hello guys! Yes, finally a diagnosis machine. Yes, this is the first video of my channel that I'm able to do a diagnosis on camera. This is not the newest uh, style of machines, but it is a very capable uh, one. Uh, this time what we are going to see is the typical of many cars, makes and models. Airbag light on. Let's see why. I work with the diagnosis machine for many years now. I work on the dealers with diagnosis, professional diagnosis machine. I also work on uh, multi brands uh, workshops with uh, a lot of different types of diagnosis machines. In this brand here, so far is the best, the best brand I ever work with. It's really very capable. In my workshop, I have a, a newer style, the latest machine uh, for diagnosis. And that is important uh, in let me tell you uh, why right now. I did a previous test with the machine, of course, before I do this video. Um, and I have my airbag light on, but with this machine, I cannot find any faults. So I get worried, and maybe the problem is with the ECU of the airbags, but no. Actually, I did a um, reading with another machine, another newer machine, and the faults are really there. The problem is, this software or this machine is not capable of reading this, uh, this uh, ECU for the airbags. Uh, not ECU, this control unit. Now, I thought maybe this is a, a deal killer because I cannot do a video with a machine that cannot read codes. But wait a minute. I saw a lot of people complain about this problem. I saw a lot of people that cannot find any faults and they think the problem is it with the ECU. Sorry, the control unit, they change the control unit and they solve the problem. That is to be expected because the default calls are stored on the control unit. If you change the control unit, there are no faults. Therefore, your light is off. So, even though this machine does not read the codes, I think we are able to erase them. But to erase them, we have to do some process. I know the problem is a bad contact on this seat and a bad contact on the curtain, airbag curtain, and the plug is down there. So let's see what's what. So these are the materials that you are going to, to need. A diagnosis machine, a screwdriver, a thin one, a Phillips screwdriver, some zip ties, and WD-40. I'm not sponsored by this. Uh, you may need a cat as well. <laughs> Now, <laughs> uh, I always say, and it, it, uh, I really mean it, meant, meant that. No, what you want to do is to disconnect your battery to do these uh, repairs on the bath contacts. But, wait a minute. It, it is not always as they say. Yes, we, you have to be very, very, very careful when working on airbags because you can deploy them. But on this particular case, I found found it to be easier to work with the battery on because we are going to need to switch on the ignition and so on but let me explain you step by step okay in this next step you want to clean out the bad contacts and you may see there is not a really a bad really bad contact on your uh, on your plugs but why does it this happen why does this happen so much on the the, the seats for example why does it happen on other places now this is because I have to clear my tongue. Um, this is because this system, like, uh, for example, uh, doesn't matter. So this system is always, always controlled by a small uh, current, like the CAN bus light bulb, for example. Let's talk about that in another video. Uh, this system is constantly being monetized, not monetized, <laughs> monitored, by the control unit. The control un unit is always sending a very small current to see if it has any broken wires. If it has any broken wires, bling, light on. That is so, so, that being said, every time you, you move your seat or with the pumps on the road or whatever, the plugs move. They move a little bit. Let me show you on that side where, where we are working on. Every time that moves, there is a spike on the current, and that spike is detected by the the control unit. Damn it! <laughs> like, 
<laughs> the ECU. Uh, by the control unit and light on. Bing. Okay, so we, what we are going to do with the zip ties is to actually um, force the plugs shut. I am filming here because of this. This this one here, this is a switch. Well, this is really not a switch. It, it, it is not on or off. What it really is, as the unit has to control every single wire, what you have here is, I don't remember by heart, but I think it is 60 ohms on on and 120 on off, or something like that. Well, you need not an uh, open or closed loop, what do you need is a loop with um, a certain resistant resistance in another loop or a passage. Uh, I'm sorry. You have here three wires, three wires. You have one that comes from the ECU, and you have a, uh, you have a second second one uh, connected to this position, and the third one connected to this position. The information that that reaches the control unit has to be on this position x amount of ohms and on this position x amount of ohms so the ECU can always control the state of the the wires of the, uh, the switch itself everything and at the same time disable the airbag the passenger airbag so about the machine here now you have this this plug here this AOBD 16 um, in many cases you ask me what what uh, plug should I use? What color? What code should I use on my machine? Uh, nowadays, that is not uh, used. Um, many early professional machines, yes, they did use different kinds of uh, OBD16 uh, plugs. But on the modern machines, like this hotel, for example, um, they don't. They only use this one. That's why. Uh, and why is that? On early models of the professional machines, the protocol codes were engraved, engraved on this uh, uh, plug here. Uh, therefore, the, the communication was already decodified for the machine. It is the machine itself that decodes the protocols of communication. So, on this machine, the only thing you, can, you, you need to do is to see if the, all the pins are correct. Plug them on the port. And that's it. No more blue and red and yellow and whatever color of plug. You just need a good quality machine. Now on this hotel machine, uh, maybe this, it is because the software or the hardware is not um, up to date. I cannot read all of the control units I know I can I cannot read the, the the xenon for example the 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 parking sensors but I know the problem is not with the car the problem it is the machine that cannot read them cannot enter so let's choose here Alfa Romeo this isn't Portuguese I'm sorry but I think you can understand all some some things are in English. For me, it's uh, okay. Models. So it's a mixture of Portuguese and English. So choose my model. I already already auto scan. I already uh, saw with the normal manual scan and auto scan. It's the same. The the, the machine enters equally on on the all units, not all units. If you can see here, you cannot enter the xenon lamps, as you call it, the ballasts. On here, I have a fault code for the 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 glow plug. Still, my God, <laughs> and the airbag, no faults. Just a moment. This is a slow. A very slow uh, communication. Well, in, in, in those days, it was really fast. So, as I told you on the beginning of the video, I know I have here the fault codes of the airbag. I'll re re read it with another machine, a newer machine, 
and I, I have fault codes on here, one for the driver's seat and for the curtain uh, driver's side, and uh, they don't appear on this scan, but they are here. And that's the main problem I see on the forums, is this problem here. No fault codes and the uh, light on. So you go here and you have information for the ECU, fault codes, uh, this is a bad translation, this is for erasing the codes, um, data and uh, tests. So fault codes, no fault codes, that is what it, what it means here. Uh, I could actually change the language, but uh, let's be quick in here. No fault codes, but I know I have two fault codes on here, okay? Let's imagine I have the fault codes. So, okay, I want to erase the codes. And yes, everything is off, but the ignition is on. Proceed. And uh, okay, no fault codes. And I go here and I still have two fault codes. Why is that? You can never, ever, w even with the, the other machine, you can never erase the codes unless you do the procedures on the plugs. Why is that? The, the, the airbag uh, control unit needs to see a change on the state of the, the error, the fault. The fault must, the state of the fault. So you have a, a fault code for this, the driver's seat. But that, that fault code, that code can change of state, can be active, passive, can be high, uh, short uh, circuit, low, so, uh, short circuit, many things. You need to change the state of the, the code. That is why I told you earlier not to disconnect the battery at least yet. So let's see how we do it. So what I'm going to do here is to leave the machine on, the plug on, ignition off. And let's go under the seat and see how we're going to do it. So what you need to do is to take out this tray this is on the Alpha 156. Take out comp completely the tray. The, the function of this tray is to try to eliminate the vibrations of the seat, of the road. Take out here this cable. Take out entirely the tray. And you have here your airbag or pretensioner plug already broken in there no problem no problem so what you want to do is to take out this plug here with your ignition off battery on machine diagnosis machine on and you have to see here on this side of the plug those terminals here these three of them you have to have um, a point to te a testing point that is similar equal equal to this point over there and see if you have resistance when testing those pins inside there they have to be they, they, it has to you have to feel the resistance when testing those those pins um, I have to make a, a, another short video for just for adjusting these pins you you can adjust them it's not easy but you can but let, let's leave that for another video. So imagine it, it's everything okay, it, and it is. This this uh, pins are okay. Um, this is not. It's just a uh, tape. Um, okay. Now you have your your pins, new pins or adjusted new pins terminals, and you put some WD-40. There are some controversy about this WD-40. Some people say it, it, it's going to make it things worse. I don't think so. This is an excellent uh, deoxidizer, and I use it for a lot of years. And uh, you just need to know how to use it. Now, the, th the, the, the next thing is to insert, again, the plugs and take it out a lot of times. So the WT-40 does its job to eliminate any oxidation on the female and male connections. So, somewhere on the middle of this uh, exercise, what you want to do is to disconnect altogether the plug and turn on the ignition. Ignition is on. What, is, is, what does this do? This 
alters the state of the fault code inside of the, the control unit, the airbag control unit. Now, with this, the, also what you, what you can do to realize if it is true or not, is to see the fault codes again and see if the fault code changed. Now, it's a shame on this machine it is not possible, but what th does appear on the fault code is the same code or the same very very similar code but in a different state of uh, of, um, of of state <laughs> i don't know now turn on off turn off your ignition again let me place here my camera okay insert for the last time the plugs and now with the zip ties what do you want to do is to find a way to stop the plugs from moving. The problem is these two plugs here move just a little bit, but they move and that causes the spikes. Not only that, with that movement this uh, female terminals inside here start to uh, lose tension. They start to get very loose. So what you want to do is to try to eliminate that motion, that movement. At the same time, trying to maintain the characteristics of the tray and everything. Uh, normally, I do uh, with uh, this zip tie over here and here, but uh, I need this part here, so I will do a lateral. I think I can do it. Lateral thing. Here we have the curtain at the back, it goes right about to here I think, it has a plug on the, the, the end of the curtain and, there's it, and then it has a small piece of cable that goes to the main harness. First we have two, two spots that, that can have the same problem, the same bath contact, in here and inside here. But I don't feel like <laughs> taking this all apart, at least from, for now. And uh, the law of less effort, as we say in Portugal, is to, they, to do the first things, the, the easiest things first. So what we are going to do is to do the same. So take out this, this uh, plug, see the, the terminals, if they are good, do the same um, lubrication with WD-40, turn on the ignition to, to change the state of the error, of the fault, and then um, plug it all, all again and see if we can erase the codes. So the same procedure, let's take out the plug, see if it has, it has any corrosion, I don't think so, but nonetheless apply some product. While the, the plug is disconnected, turn on the ignition to change the fault code uh, state or parameter. Okay, now you can disconnect uh, your ignition and do the same, on, off, on, off, always like this, to try to take out any, any, any debris or lack of uh, contact, do this a bunch of times, three or four times I think, it's usually enough. And now, try to see if you can find some place to put your special weapon. Did you ever wonder what is this cover for? It's really for this to maintain your uh, airbag plugs stay hidden like that like that and cover it so easy alpha thinks of everything what you want to do next is to read the codes again what you, you you will find is the same codes that you had before but 
with a different, uh, maybe a message is different, the state of it is different. So the unit, the control unit, um, saw that the, the problem is the different. And now being different, you can read the codes, okay? Imagine they are here. It's really a shame this machine does not uh, uh, present the, the codes, but okay. And now clear the fault codes. The ignition is on, uh, engine off, proceed. The faults will be erased, and they are erased, maybe. Let's see. Okay, in here you can you could see system, no fault codes. And let's see now. It worked! Oh, yes! Okay, now, cool. Now, the machine is able to erase the fault codes. That is awesome. Uh, that is really very good. Um, so, it means that the problem is not with the car. Again, the problem is not the car. The problem is the software or maybe something on this machine. Maybe the problem is me. Is I cannot uh, maybe configure this machine yet. It's really new to me. Uh, but the, the thing is, we find the problem, you, we solve the problem, and we could erase the fault codes properly. Um, what can you do? The, uh, how can you see this in another way? Uh, for example, you don't have a, a, a machine to read your codes. What you can do is to run every plug for the airbag system, clean everything, assemble everything again following this video, and including the engine, the, sorry again, with the engine control unit. With the airbag control unit, you can have the same fault codes, but the problem being the plug, the big plug, on the airbag control unit because the bad contacts may appear on that plug. It's very rare to happen, but it can happen. But you can do this maintenance on the plugs from time to time. And once you do that, you can erase the codes in, in, and it will erase every code on the, the airbag control unit. And voila, you have a perfectly functional system. This is very cool. I'm really happy with this. Despite the machine not being able to give me the, the fault codes, I'm really, really happy to uh, be able to do this video. Uh, I'm a little bit emotional right now because it has been a not so very long trip, only just since February, and I'm already able to give you this kind of information uh, that is very crucial, very, very, very crucial for our videos, for our community, for uh, the, the brand itself. Uh, don't change the, the parts, don't change the units, don't change everything, don't spend money, don't throw it uh, out the window just because it's cheap or it's given for you. Um, make sure you do things, things properly. I know you want to save a lot of money. Uh, I know you want to appreciate the cars. So appreciate it really how they are. Don't throw money away. Do things yourself. Don't trust only my videos. Do your research, for example. Um, that's it, guys. This this is the, the main thing about about what I'm trying to pass you here. Uh, trust the brand. It is really a good brand. And uh, don't don't be trapped on some fantasy thing, uh, fantasy machines that don't really work. That Bluetooth things that uh, I don't know what to call them, work with the quality materials, work with quality machines, work with quality information. That is very, very, very crucial. So let me give you just a, a bonus a bonus video. Uh, I got uh, able to, to change my glow plug at, at last. i uh, leave you the video here for the that video, the link for the video. And you can see here on this, uh, sometimes the diagnosis can uh, fool you. If you turn turn on your diagnosis machine, you run the codes on the engine uh, control unit, and you see this error here, and it says here in English, the control unit is at at, at a non-plausible signal. Many people, what they're going to do is to change immediately the, 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 the relay for the control unit, or the control unit for the glow plugs, and the problem persists. Now, don't uh, be fooled by the machines, like we saw on this video. It's very easy to, to fall on the, the problems that the several machines can, not only the machines, the, if, I, uh, if I connect here 
uh, the, the newer style machine, the fault code, is exactly the same. The description is exactly the same. You cannot fall on every uh, fault code. You cannot fall yourself in the illusion of the fault codes. You have to check yourself, check the video that I send you on the link up here. Um, we have to do the diagnosis before you actually do a diagnosis with the machine. You have to complement the both diagnosing with the machine and diagnosing yourself. The only problem with the, the, this fault code is a burn glow plug, nothing more. The only thing this fault code is telling you is the, the unit for the glow plugs is detecting a problem. And it's the lack of uh, communication with on one of the glow plugs. Not communication per se, but it is the lack of resistance of that glow plug. So, in the, with this uh, ending, with this bombshell, let me end this video. Thank you so much so far for this excellent, excellent um, turnout. This, this, um, my Portuguese uh, channel and my English channel are being really awesome and being capable of doing a lot of fun and uh, useful videos. Thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So consider subscribe, share with your friends, and on the description below, I have some links for my Patreon account and for my PayPal account. If you want to help me in that way, it, that will be awesome. Thank you, guys.